Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have told you guys before about how you can make single agentic workflows. Like, you can start from an input, drag and drop a bunch of blocks, and create the AI workflow that you want. But, what if you could make an AI agent that can take in all your workflows and use those workflows as tools? Basically, it would be an AI agent on top of all your workflows, one you can chat with, and it can supply the input and everything to the workflow when necessary, just like a tool. It can use it to achieve stuff for you, and you can keep increasing these workflows day by day as well. Well, that's what I have today, with a new feature launched by Vectorshift called Vectorshift Agents. Now, I have told you guys about Vectorshift before, where it allows you to create a ton of AI workflows by dragging and dropping a bunch of integrations and making AI workflows that just work for you. You can check out my previous videos on it. But the newly launched feature is Agents. You can see this feature if you log in, and then on the sidebar, you'll see the Agents option. Once you click it, you'll get the option to create agents. Just hit it, and it will ask you for a name. Just give it one, and in a bit, it will show you this interface. Now, it can look a bit complex at first, but let me explain how you can use it as well. So, what happens is that you can give it an input or multiple inputs if you wish to do that, and it can give you output or multiple outputs. So, you can use this as a chat thing, or you can also use it for communication with structured data, which is also pretty good. You give it an input, and you get an output, which is what a simple chat thing does. But you can also structure your input and structure your output as well, if you want to do that. Anyway, if you look at the left, you'll see these things, which are LLM config and tools. LLM config is quite simple. It allows you to select between providers and models that you want to use. It comes by default with GPT-4.1, which is the best one to use in this case, as it has the longer context window. But you can also use the Gemini models, especially the new ones like Flashlight, which will be pretty good in these cases while saving you a ton of money. So you can use that as well. You can also use any custom model or provider through the advanced settings as well. You can also enable filtration of input, which is also cool. Anyway, then we have the Tools option, which is the major one. Tools are basically tools that you can give to your AI agent. Like, you can give it the option to query knowledge bases for specific data and gather context from that. Or you can also use integrations here, like giving it the option to autonomously query knowledge from your Notion notes or create notes in there. Or you can use it to communicate with Google Calendar or Docs and create or read files from there, which is also awesome. You also have options to scrape pages, do Google searches, and stuff like that as well. But the best part is, that you can also give it pipelines as tools. So, as I have said before, pipelines are basically workflows where you can drag and drop in a ton of blocks and integrate multiple apps and AI to accomplish a specific task. But now, you can give those pipelines as tools to these AI agents, and these agents can trigger those pipelines and take back the output from it and use it accordingly. It's almost like custom tools that you can give it that are always streamlined. For example, let's try to make a pipeline here. So, as you click it, you'll be asked to tell what this tool will do or does. In this case, I'll be making a pipeline that takes in a topic and, based on my custom knowledge base, writes a blog post and then gives it back to the AI agent here. So, we'll just type that in. And since I don't have a pipeline existing, I'll click this Create New Pipeline option, and this will create a new pipeline for us where we can scaffold what we want to do. 
Let's drag in this knowledge base here. And then we can select the knowledge base over here that I have already made. Now, once that is added, we can also go ahead and add the LLM of choice here, which is going to be Google. And then we can select the model over here as well. Once that is done, we will need to connect input first with it, and then we'll have to ask it in the system prompt to write a blog post about the given topic with the context given as well. Then, we'll have to give it input as the stuff over here, and then we can go ahead and also connect the knowledge base, and then ask it to take the context of this as well. Then, we can connect the response of the LLM to the output over here as well. And then we can go over here and test it as well. Once that's done, we can go ahead and test it before deploying here. Let's give it an input here. And then if we wait a bit, we get the response here and everything, which is pretty awesome. But now, we can go back and in the agent, make sure that you have the stuff selected exactly and correctly. Now, you can see the pipeline inputs, and you can actually give the description here of what this input is about, and it can be good at the tool calling rather than guessing. So, you can add that over here as well, and now you can go ahead and test it as well. So, let's send in the input over here, and it will go ahead and just do the stuff for us and call the pipeline as the tool. Then, in a bit, we will get the response over here, and it is now done. So, you can see the response here, and it did this quite well, which is quite good. You can now hit this deploy option and enter the version name, and then it will get deployed as well. So, this is really amazing for sure. It works almost like a proper agent orchestrator that can take in your workflows and become a great AI orchestrator that can trigger your workflows based on natural language and just do stuff for you without you messing around with multiple endpoints for each workflow and whatnot. And even without the workflows, it still holds true potential because you can integrate it with your knowledge bases and everything, which is also really cool if you ask me. Now, another thing that you can do with these agents is that you can put these in some other workflows as well. So, let's say that here, I create a new pipeline, and what I can do is put this agent that we just created in the pipeline itself, and then connect it like a block. It will behave in the workflow, just like it was behaving before, and just be an abstraction layer with all the tools and everything, without you having to mess around with multiple workflow connections. The agent will be dynamic, meaning that it can choose on its own what tools to call rather than falling back to a specific, defined workflow, which is awesome and can make your whole workflow dynamic. You can also use this to make your agent into a chatbot and then use it like a real AI assistant, which is also awesome. That is majorly how this all works, and I really like this new feature so I thought to talk about this as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.